Uh, welcome, expert investors. Uh, I'm, I'm here with uh, uh, Mr. Michael Chow. Uh, I like to call Mr. Mike Chow a, a friend now. He's the the Flipmaster General. <laughs> he's uh, been friends for a while. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's my go-to guy for the uh, 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 for for flips and everything to do with that, from generating leads uh, to acquiring the deals. Uh, all the way to finishing off and getting them sold for the, the highest price. I, I find Mike has a, a fantastic system uh, for doing that and he sticks to it and he's been consistent. Even in a tough market like this with super low inventory, he's still getting deals done and we want to hear what Mike has to say. So thanks for doing this quick intro, uh, Mike. Uh, let me ask you real quickly, You know, now that you've been doing this for several years. Yep. About eight, eight years now, full time. Eight, eight years full time, wow. Okay, so now that you've been doing this for eight years, uh, uh, where are you getting most of your funding? Is it from the banks or is it from private money or investors? Uh, the, the properties I take down and close on myself to rehab to flip, I fund them with about 90, 95% private money. Nice. Yeah. And uh, is that just for business reasons? And uh, so you're not using your own capital? I'm sure you could at this point fund a couple of flips with your own money, right? We could. Yeah. Um, that's right. It's, it's, uh, you know, I'm paying people anywhere from eight to 12% interest and I can, you know, as a professional full-time real estate investor for eight years now, um, we do this for a living. Like we have our you know, full-time business, we have employees, we, we do marketing, spend like about a lot of money, like thousands of dollars every month on marketing. Like I can get a better return than that investing my money. So. Perfect. Yeah, that, that's the right answer. I, I think I asked that on purpose because many people think they want to develop or, or grow enough of their capital to just use their own money over and over again. And that's not the greatest ROI. Uh, and I wanted to hear that. I want to, hear no, 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 no. I want to be clear. I'm not saying I'm doing better than, you know, people I'm paying 8% or 10% to. I'm not better. It's just different. Like I have to do, I have to run the entire show though. Like they don't, right. They just kind of sit in the background, <laughs> collect checks every month. <laughs> yeah, who, who doesn't like doing that? <laughs> And, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you you quit your job uh, a little while ago, and this is now your full time gig. So if you're not flipping, you're not. For the last eight years, it's been like that since 2014. Yeah, I haven't had a job since 2014. You haven't <laughs> had a job since 2014. Yeah, so welcome to the unemployed club. Like, I tell that to people all the time. Like, what do you do? I'm like, I'm, I don't know. I'm unemployed. <laughs> I you're unemployed. Do. I'm the I'm the uh, CEO and the janitor occasionally. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've done it all. Like, you know, in eight years I've done, I've been the bookkeeper. I've been the listing agent. I've been the project manager. I've been the fundraiser. I've been the marketing guy. I've been the sales rep. You know, I've done it all. You name it. I've been the janitor. I, I think when you're building a business and it, it, honestly, I've done that in my own business also working with investors and you kind of have to step into those roles at some point. Uh, and, and, but eventually as you learn them, it becomes easier to, uh, 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 pass off those roles to employees or contractors or virtual assistants, depending on where you are, because uh, you know the role and you know what to expect out of it. So I'm 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 happy to hear that you're there, man. That's fantastic. Yeah, no shortcuts, right, Paul? No shortcuts to success. You gotta. You know, no. it's, well, there's this famous quote by I think it's Grant Cardone, like uh, success is the price you pay for success. You gotta pay rent, right? Every day, do every day. <laughs> rent is due every day. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta pay it every day. That's you right. want to continue being successful. You gotta pay it every day. You gotta continue learning, continue growing, continuing, improving your processes and systems, and, and investing in your people. You know your marketing. It never ends, right? Like as an entrepreneur, you have to keep, keep working at it. Otherwise, you just stay relevant. You gotta stay relevant, right? Um, amazing. Uh, two more quick questions, and uh, we'll save the rest for Saturday, April second. I know you're really big on systems. At least that's what I kind of gather from you. So yes. are you still using the systems that we were talking about or are you continuing to improve on them as the market changes? Like what's, what's going on there? Um, are you, are you asking specifically how much I buy houses for or how I find sellers or. Yeah. All that. I, 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 I remember you, you had a formula for how much you needed to pay for a house minus the renovations. And you had a, a bit of a system for how you, uh, how much money you were spending on leads and, okay. and okay. all that kind of stuff. So are you yeah. still very systemized that way? And is it changing yeah. with the market? So I think you're talking about KPIs, like, yes. you know, like, like cost per deal, right? That's a KPI um, average wholesale fee per deal, right? Average gross profit per flip. 
yep. you know, wholesale uh, signing fee per wholesale gross profit per flip. You know, it's, so my KPIs are essentially the same. Uh, how much I, when the market peaked, uh, uh, I want to say like most of last year, market was really hot. Uh, I had to pay a bit more for property, right? Yep. But, you, but you, when you sell it on the back end, you make more, you know? Correct. And if you're lucky, it's, you mark, you're riding that wave and your market you know, is, is even higher, like six months after you bought the property, you can sell it for even more than what you initially projected, right? So that's been, that was the case for most of last year. Yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad this year, a couple of flips we sold this year, has, you know, same thing, like selling them for more than what we project initially. Yeah, it, it hasn't stopped. That's for sure. And that's luck. That's not skill. I'll give you another saying. You got to be good to be lucky and lucky to be good. So don't, don't say. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You got to um, go to bat, right? You don't go to bat. You don't get those hits, right? It, it, exactly. And, and now I, I'm sure it's not all glitz and glamour. Uh, I'm sure in your career, you've taken a few losses on deals. Am I, am I correct? Um, we lost a lawsuit recently. So I, I lost, I spent about 20 grand in legal fees. And then I, I, I lost the lawsuit. I brought the lawsuit. I sued the seller for not coming to the closing table. Uh, I lost because the, the seller claimed she had dementia and she, she actually had medical documents to support that. And I wasn't aware of this when I first met the seller. So I lost that lawsuit. I had to pay her uh, another thirty thousand dollars. I lost like fifty grand. Yikes! All right. Well, you, you got to you win some, lose some. But in, in this well, game, overall, we're still good. You know, I can't complain. No, no. <laughs> most of your deals are wins, so that's important. But I, yeah. I, I want to clear the air, and I don't want people to think this is you know you just wake up and do flips and you know have a happy dance all the time. There's stuff you got to deal with. There's problems you got to deal with too. So. Yep. Yep. And, and, and really, last, last question, day. last question. Let, let's clear up a, a, a quick one. Uh, wh what kind of, and I'm sorry, excuse me if I'm wording this question incorrectly, but what kind of margins can you expect on a flip if you're just getting started? You know what I mean? What would you expect in terms of yeah. either a dollar amount or a, a percentage margin on the final sale price? Like what, what, what kind of, what can we give away to people? As um, Obviously, this is not a science we're talking about. It's an art. Yeah. You no, know, we do have formulas and equations to calculate how much we can offer our M MAO, which a lot of people might be familiar with, maximum allowable offer. But I would say at the end of the day, it comes down to what you're comfortable with. Like if you have to go into a rehab, a flip, and spend 100K to make 50K, the two to one ratio, like rehab cost to yep. gross profit, two to one, right? I like to be around one to one in mm -hmm. general. So if I, if I spend 150 K on a rehab, I would want to make around 150 K. Otherwise I just rather wholesale that property. Got it. And, and 150 K rehab, you know, right. It's a lot of work, right? It's a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of management. And so it's better be worth it. Right. Yes. That's where I'm at right now. Everybody's different though. I recognize everybody's a little different, you know, that, that, that's, that's a good answer. So we're, we're going to cover this and a lot more. And, um, I, I I hope you go over that um, that uh, calculator tool you had last time also. Uh, sure. Everybody yeah. loved that. So let's do that again. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic presentation, guys. April 2nd, 9 a.m. If you can't make it, jump on the recording. And uh, we're going to be doing a donation uh, this time to a regular Million Dollar Smiles charity and also to one of Mike's charities also. Don't worry, I didn't forget. And we'll have <laughs> that charity again. It's Big Brothers and Sisters, right? Yeah, Hamilton, Burlington, Big Brothers and Big Sisters. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're so great organization, working directly with underprivileged, at-risk youth. Great organization. Very happy to be able to support them any way I can. And, and, and I am too. So uh, uh, you're not only supporting uh, uh, one charity, we're doing two this time. And uh, it's going to be an awesome one. We'll see you April 2nd, 9 a.m. If you can't make it, just register. We'll get you the recording. No problem at all. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. And uh, have fun in Vancouver. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Take care, buddy. All right, see you soon. <laughs>